in this question here, uh, we are asked to find what is the length of the, uh, the, the distance between point A, uh, point A and point G. Just about there. And so essentially we are trying to find the line A to G. So that line there that I've just marked in on uh, the graph for you. So in order to do that we need to find a few other bits and pieces first. And in, when you're dealing with 3D, you have to imagine that if you were shining a light down from the top, uh, where would the shadow be? And the shadow, if we were to do that, uh, if, if that was a piece of string going across there, would be across from A to C. So what we're going to be doing is, first of all, we're going to be finding out the length of AC first, and we're going to do that by using the Pythagorean theorem, finding out A and B, and B and C. And that's going to get us the length of A to C. And then uh, we're going to use that length of A and C, and we're going to use the height of uh, the, the um, rectangular prism here, C to G, and we're going to be able to use that to work out the length A to G. So in, in essence, we're trying to, uh, we're going to be working out Pythagoras using two triangles. And so uh, the first triangle we're going to be doing is triangle A, B, and C. So we write that A, B, and C, and if we were to draw that out a as a triangle, um, we would end up with a triangle that looked um, a little bit like this. So if we draw our triangle like that, where we've got sides A, B, and C, so um, A, B, and C, so there's B and C, and we can put on the lengths that we know. We know that the distance between A and B is 28 centimetres, and we know the distance between B and C is 12 centimetres. So from there we can work out length AC. So that's quite simply a case of using our Pythagorean theorem, and we know that A and C is the um, hypotenuse, so it's going to be equal to 28 squared plus 12 squared, and that's going to give us, when we... Uh, work that through and put that into a calculator, that gives us that AC is going to be the square root of 928. So therefore, AC uh, will equal 30. Oops. It's not writing for me, hang on. 30.46 centimetres in this case. And so that's the distance along the base of the uh, rectangular prism between A and C. Uh, we can now then work on the other triangle that we have to do, which if we draw that out, also you know looks quite similar in, in the sense that it's a, a right angle triangle. And there's our right angle triangle and where we've got uh, sides, in this case here we've got we've got side A is down the bottom here, uh, the, the right angle part of the triangle is at point C and the top of the triangle is at point G. Now we know from A to C uh, is 30.46 centimetres and we know the height of the triangle, because we're given that in the original question, is equal to 16 centimetres. And again, uh, we're looking for the hypotenuse of this. So we're going to be using the plus version of the equation again. And when we substitute that into the uh, equation, we end up with uh, 30.46 squared plus 16 squared. And uh, when we put that through our um, equation, that equals the square root of 1184. 1184, and when we square root that answer because uh, that's what we want, we end up that AG, the length of AG, is equal to 34.41 if we do it to two decimal places, centimetres in length. So that's how we work out that particular problem. So the length of AG. Uh, in this case here, showing all this working, and you need to show all this working, uh, is equal to 31.41 centimetres.